Cuckoo clock. It is early morning. Mummy and Daddy Pig are still asleep. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mummy and Daddy. Eh? What? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, she doesn't, and you don't either, because apparently your clock is broken. This is not what 5 a.m. looks like in the UK, like at all. The sun rises in the UK at about 6 a.m. from what I understand, so there's just no way it would be this bright outside. No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Neither does his, but that doesn't seem to be a fucking problem. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. I'm actually going to remove a sin here just because Mommy Pig is literally so on point. So we actually have a grandfather clock, and as beautiful as they are, hearing them go off every hour is literally such a headache. And I hope I'm not the only one, but when our grandfather clock went off during the middle of the night, I found that shit extremely disturbing. Like, the, it would scare the shit out of me, because it would play Toreado's March really deep-pitched, which is more popularly known as the Five Nights at Freddy's tune that plays when you hit 6 a.m. Yeah, imagine getting woken up to that shit at 12 in the morning. I will never be the same. Oh! Can we wind it up again, please? All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. The narrator genuinely pisses me off so badly when he does this shit. Like, dude, I know they're little children, like this show is made for little children, but they are not so stupid that they can't discern what Daddy Pig is doing. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Um, given that near the beginning of this video, we discerned that your clock has to be at least an hour or so off, and you don't appear to have any digital clocks in your home, I wouldn't really rely on that. I mean, I'm sure it's just as wrong as the other ones are. Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went, cuckoo, and you missed it. I literally have no words for what an absolute fucking bitch this pig is. Like, what the fuck? I hope when George gets older, he remembers this shit and fucking clocks you. Never mind, George. You can see Cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Or, you know, just a thought. You could wind the freaking clock to like a minute before the next hour so he can see it. And doesn't have to wait 60 full fucking minutes for Peppa to continue to be a fucking cunt. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr. Dinosaur wants you to play too. This, this fucking episode, man, just pisses me off so badly. Because as you continue to watch it, it becomes more and more obvious that Peppa is doing this shit to him on purpose. Like, she's literally tormenting him for no other reason for, than for the sake of being a bitch. Uh. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. Dude, honestly, shout out to Mommy Pig, man. She's like literally one of my favorite characters. She is so caring and just like, she's in a fire brigade and she's just, she's a queen. Let's go, let's move on. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> it is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa, George, time to see Cuckoo. 
Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again! Bitch, I know you're not acting like you give a shit. You literally made George miss the cuckoo on purpose and made him bawl his eyes out while you stood there with a shit-eating grin on your face. Shut your ass up. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see cuckoo? As happy as I am that George got to see the cuckoo bird, I I'm not watching 30 more seconds of them running around acting like a cuckoo bird. Th this is stupid. Pepper and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo. Uh. Pepper and George are asleep. <laughs> is it morning already? Uh, no. Time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy, Daddy, we've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to thank the creators for the free birth control.